When you know you're going to become a mother, you start dreaming all these things for your child. And of course, you never think about anything happening to your baby. When Paris was a baby, she was a beautiful golden color. And it turns out it was one of the first signs of hepatitis. They call it jaundice. Hepatitis B is inflammation of the liver caused by the hepatitis B virus. I didn't even know what it was. I certainly didn't know that there was a vaccine for it. It can go on to cause permanent scarring of the liver. We call that cirrhosis or even liver cancer. It was just constantly testing to see what the virus is doing. And her little veins were so small, the only person who could get blood out of her was her pediatrician. And to do that, she had to go in through her head because that's where the veins were the biggest. And the first time I saw that, I just about flipped. 90% of children who are infected as newborns go on to be chronic carriers. And the body doesn't recognize it as an invader and fight it off. It just goes on to chronic infection. That's when you get the long-term damage. But if you get it as an adult, you have only a 10% chance of staying infected. So even though babies are less likely to get this disease, they're most likely to end up with problems their whole lives. There are no symptoms in young children. It's the long term that's the problem. You can just look at your child and know what's growing in her. The frustration is unbelievable. She knew even when she was little that she was different, or things were different for her. I felt horrible for her all over, but in a completely different way. Most of the time in the US when people get hepatitis B, it's through sexual contact. Some infants, though, are born with hepatitis B because it's passed from their infected mother to the infant. We don't know for sure how Paris got hepatitis B. In order to prevent infection, the most important thing is vaccination. Over the years, I've been in a lot of conversations with other parents. They don't want to vaccinate their babies so early, particularly for something that they think is just a sexually transmitted disease. It's recommended for infants, partly because screening for hepatitis B in mothers isn't perfect. When you find out it's preventable, as a parent, that's the worst. It torments you. And you literally have nightmares wanting to rewind. Check with your provider to see if immunization is right for your family.